Hi guys, it's George from Curry's and today we're talking Windows 11. Now I'm going to be showing you what's great about it and we're going to be focusing on the latest design and tools, how it's removing communication barriers and the improved PC gaming performance. Now I'm going to head over to the lab where I'm going to meet up with Microsoft evangelist Adam Schofield and show you Windows 11 in action. Hello Adam, welcome to the lab. How are we doing today? Very well, thank you. Thank you for having me. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the latest designs and tools. So Windows 11 has reimagined how PC should work for you and with you. It's basically reinvented productivity. Yeah. So what are some of the latest things that we're going to be able to see and experience with Windows 11? So Windows 11 itself, you still get all the power and security from Windows 10, but as you say, it's been reimagined. We've got new, new design, new animations, new sounds, and it all starts from this gorgeous looking uh, desktop screen that we have here with nice. a new start menu. We've got our pinned apps, uh, all our recent files. And it's this whole idea of starting centered, be that your files, your apps, what you're searching for. Everything starts right there, center of, of what you do. Uh, you've got your new quick settings. We've got things like the uh, new action center, which is our new notifications and calendar mm -hmm. and such here. Microsoft say that it can bring balance to your desktop. Yeah, cool little tagline. I yeah. quite like it. <laughs> but um, it's absolutely true. And that when we say that, we're referring to this uh, new feature called Snap Layouts, which is really, okay. really good. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to get you to do this. Right. Um, so I'm just going to open a bunch of different apps here. Cool. Chloe, and do you want to come in and zoom in on the laptop so we can see what we're doing? Uh, yeah. So if I, if I just get you to hover over one of the maximize icons there, there we go. And you can see we've got all these different snap layouts. Now we've got four here on a bigger screen. We'd have about six different layouts. Okay. So we do like three across and that sort of thing. But I just want you to snap it into one of those layouts and then just there select the apps. Go. You want any other bit? How easy was that? So I've got all these apps on, on the same screen and I can work on them simultaneously and yeah. they're all there for me. So the second point we want to talk about is how Windows 11 is removing communication barriers with the help of chat on Microsoft Teams. So we could call virtually anyone, whether it's friends, family members, colleagues, in whatever way we wanted to, whether that's calling, texting, video calling, and it's all for free. Yeah, absolutely. So chat from Microsoft Teams is built directly into the taskbar. So mm -hmm. we mentioned earlier this idea of this, of this feeling of being centered with your start yeah. menu. Same goes for chat. So you've got a little chat bubble down the bottom here. If we click on that, we have our new chat fly out. So we've got all our contacts, which sync from Skype or Outlook. Mm -hmm. uh, we can also chat to people across devices as well. So it doesn't matter whether we're on a mobile device or a tablet or a PC, we can chat to them through chat from Microsoft Teams. And we're actually going to do that uh, right now. Absolutely. Well. Let's call my colleague Rob. Nice bit of interlude music. My favorite music. Yeah, very good. Hello. He is. Hey Rob, you all right? So yeah, it opens up into this full chat window mm -hmm. experience. We can do a video call, we can do an audio call. We still have access to our chat so we can send uh, private messages or we can send links and mm -hmm. stuff as well. And that, pun to pun, links in nicely oh. <laughs> uh, into Microsoft 365 and the way that we can collaborate. Absolutely, well. we can use those apps simultaneously while we're on a call with Rob and we could work both on the on the apps and the documents. Yeah, absolutely. So Microsoft 365 is the subscription that really completes the Windows mm -hmm. experience. You get access to all the Office applications and a host of premium features as well. What we're going to do right now is we're going to copy a link for this document that I'm working on, and we're going to send that over to Rob. So Rob, I'm just going to put that in the chat now. And there now you are. Once Rob gets onto the document, if we go back to the document, we should yep. see his little initials pop up there. Yeah, in just a moment, it should pop up Come right there, here, and then I'll be able to see in real time him editing mm -hmm. the document, and he'll be able to see any mm -hmm. edits that I make as well. And there it is, Rob Thornton is. is here. Yeah. But it's so clear to see what Rob's editing, and then if we wanted to edit, we can see and work yeah, exactly. on it simultaneously. So what's great about Windows 11 is that Xbox app is pre-installed. As well, if you couple that with the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you get access over to 100 games on PC and console, and you have access to cloud gaming. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and this is the thing, gaming on Windows 11 is a great experience anyway. We've got things like auto HDR and direct storage uh, coming for Windows 11 gaming PCs. Mm -hmm. But what if you're not on a gaming PC? Like, would you describe this? Thin and light device as a gaming device? Not really, no. No, neither would I. It's absolutely not. But with thanks uh, to Game Pass Ultimate subscription, which you can buy separately, what I can do is I can just uh, load up the Xbox app and I've got access to our library of cloud games. So if I just click on cloud gaming here, and then all we need is a controller that we can connect mm -hmm. via Bluetooth or wired, and we can see our controller is all connected. We need a network connection, uh, so you, your quality of the games will vary on the strength of your connection, mm -hmm. so just be aware of that. 
but then we can jump straight into a game as well with no install times whatsoever. And that includes day one access to some of our Xbox uh, studio titles coming out as well. So Halo Infinite coming out later this year, Forza Horizon 5, you get day one access to those games, whether that's on cloud, whether that's on PC, whether that's on console. So you get stuck into those games immediately and you get to play with millions of people online. Yeah, absolutely. You can cross-play, uh, depending on the title, you can cross-play and use party chat from Windows to Xbox. Uh, and then, yeah, with cloud gaming, we can just jump straight in. So if I just want to try it out, wicked. I can just click on the title I want to play. That's in the cloud gaming library and just load it up and I'm in. It's fantastic. I've loved working with you today, Adam. Cheers, and man. I love what I'm seeing when it comes to Windows 11. It's nice, isn't it? Very nice. <laughs> If you want to find out more info on Windows 11, then why not visit us in-store, head online, or chat to one of my colleagues on a Shop Live video call.